Good morning, manatees. It's Friday, April 3rd, 2020. It's nice seeing you today. I'm here at the Bayhaven campus for a few hours working, and it's nice to be back here at school talking with you. Let's begin our day with the Pledge of Allegiance. Eyes on the flag, right hand over your heart, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now it's time for our Bayhaven Pledge. Today, I will be respectful, responsible, and safe. All right, manatees, today's announcements for us. I have some great news for us, manatees. Look at the new basketball hoops being installed in our PE shelter. They're installing four brand new basketball hoops today at our school. New rims, new supports, new backboards. Wow, they will be fun to use. The rain on Tuesday night really helped out Bayhaven's food forest. Our southern magnolias are blooming. Our new additions to the courtyard look great. Our rainbow eucalyptus tree looks beautiful. And the rest of the plants and flowers look great in the food forest. Wow, it's really blossoming. All right, manatees. Time for today's weather with Pepper. For today, Friday, expect another great day of Florida springtime weather. Expect a high of 82 degrees in a nice low of 56 degrees with a 0% chance of rain. Have some fun outside today. The book of the day with Lady in Copper. Today's book of the day is The Witch of Black Bear Pond by Elizabeth George Spear. This is a Newbery Award-winning classic book about a girl who moves from living in the tropical islands with her grandfather to her new family in Connecticut and how dramatically her life changes. Check it out. Question of the day with Cooper's fish. Well, let's talk about yesterday. We had many responses come in for the question, what is the oldest city in Florida? And which happens to be the oldest city in the United States. The correct answer is St. Augustine, Florida. The city was first established by Spanish explorers in 1565. It was the Spanish capital of Florida for over 200 years. Unbelievable. Congratulations to Trayvon Bell in second grade. He responded first with the correct answer this morning. He gets a homework pass. Way to go, Trayvon! Some other super fast responders included Trey McDougal, Naya Chambliss, Gavin Nagy, the Malone Kids, the Philippines, Joaquin Rivera, Charlie Roman, and Gianna Clark. Keep the answers coming. Okay, now for today's question of the day. Who was the first Mexican-American member of Congress? Again, who was the first Mexican-American member of Congress? And for a bonus, what state or territory did he, come, he or she come from? And in what year was he or she elected? Good luck, everyone. Remember to text your answers to me. All right, manatees, it's time for the Mindful Minute with Mrs. Blake. We're so excited to hear from her.
Good morning, manatees. I am so happy to be able to join you all, even though we are not at school. As we are settling in to all of the new ways we will be learning while we are at home, we want you to know that you and your families have so very much to be proud of. Already you have put in the effort and are finding ways to keep growing and learning, even though it will be in new and different ways. The choices you've made so far are proof of what I'm always saying to you. You can't always control the things around you, but you are always 100% in control of how you respond to them. We are all already so proud of the tremendous start our Bayhaven family has made, and we cannot wait to see all of the new things we discover together about ourselves, our school, and our world. But just like everything in life, there are parts of the situation that will not be easy. There will be times when we need a way to remind ourselves that we are in control of how we think, how we feel, and what we do. There will be times when we need to stop and take a minute to notice what's happening and turn things around. So every morning we will practice together things we can do and things we can think to help us calm down strong feelings, relax our bodies, and help us feel refocused and ready to learn. We can call this special kind of break a mindful minute, a time to pay attention to and be aware or mindful of what is happening and then make a smart decision about what we will do next. The most important part of being mindful is breathing. So today we will learn how to take the kind of breaths that will help us in this very special way. First, think about your breath. Roll back your shoulders three times and think of your spine being a long straight line from the bottom of your head all the way down your back. When I tell you to, you're going to close your mouth and gently breathe air into your nose. I want you to feel it pass through your lungs and make your stomach gently rise. Then feel it flow all the way back out your nose. Feel all the parts of your body the air passes and listen to the sound it makes as it flows in and out your nose. Feel your shoulders relax every time you breathe. Now, let's practice it together three times. Roll back your shoulders, close your mouth, and breathe in. Great job. This special breathing is something you can do anytime you need a break to help you refocus. Thank you for taking this mindful minute with me. Now we are calm, focused, and ready to make this. That's it, manatees. Have a wonderful Friday and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.